So one of the coolest new features on Google's Pixel 4 phone is astrophotography. I posted a couple of photos on Twitter and people seem to be really, really excited about this mode. Some people are even going out and buying Pixel 4s just to have the astro mode. And side note, don't do that because this is software and it's being ported to a lot of phones. And yeah, look, I've gotten a ton of messages from people saying, I can already do this on my phone. We've always had this for a couple of years. And that's technically true, but Google is doing astrophotography completely differently than everybody else. So regular phones and cameras for that matter do astrophotography by leaving the shutter open for an extended period of time to capture more light. Now the main problem here is that if you have other lights in the shot, they're generally going to get pretty blown out because you need to have that open shutter to be able to capture the stars, which are not exactly very bright. And with regular phones and cameras, you can still make these usable, but it does take a little bit of post-processing. But what the Pixel is doing is something that Google likes to call HDR Plus on steroids. And if you don't know what HDR Plus is, make sure you watch my video over here. But effectively, what the phone is doing is taking a bunch of really short exposures, which is able to maintain those highlights, and then it stacks all of those exposures on top of each other, takes the average pixel color for every single pixel, bumps the shadows up, and that way you get a lot of dynamic range. Astrophotography mode is basically the same thing, except this time, Google leaves the shutter open for about 15 seconds. Now it takes about 15 to 16 different exposures and stacks them on top of each other, and also does something called semantic segmentation. What this does is it recognizes the sky and it says, hey, I need to process this slightly differently to kind of pull out the detail from the stars. Now what this does is allow you to take some astro images a lot simpler than before. It's pretty much plug and play as long as the phone recognizes that one, it's dark enough, and two, you're not moving the phone at all. The other benefit here is that there's a rule of thumb that says you should not keep the shutter open longer than 20 seconds if you don't want to get star trails. But because Google is only taking 15 second exposures and then aligning them, you get perfectly sharp images. But honestly, I think one of the coolest things about astrophotography mode is that it's purely software. This is something that we technically could have done a couple of years ago, but people are just now thinking to do it in this way. So this means that you're gonna be able to do this on a lot more phones. I wouldn't be surprised if multiple manufacturers implemented this into their default camera app down the line, but if you wanna get access to this now and you don't have a Pixel 4, there are a lot of Gcam images online that you're able to port onto your phone. And honestly, I just had a ton of fun with the astrophotography mode on the phone. It got me outside multiple times more than I would have gone outside normally, and I had a ton of fun with my friends just shooting the stars on a random night. Now, if you want to learn more about the Pixel 4's new camera features, I have a detailed article up here that you can click on. I did this interview with Mark Lavoie, who makes the camera software at Google, so make sure you check that out if you want to learn more. And make sure you stay tuned to the website. We're going to have more Pixel 4 content, more content across all of Android, because we are Android Authority, and I will catch you in the next video.